In the second DRE screencast I'm going to show you how to do real-time introspection on VTK WX Python code. This, this will enable you to run WX Python VTK examples and change the code uh, at runtime. This is something that for example Divide can do out of the box but with this uh, basic DRE setup we have to uh, go to a little more effort. So what you see in front of you here is a modified simple VTK example. I've changed as little as possible uh, but I've just added WX support. So you see the normal import VTK here but then you see that I'm also importing the WX VTK render window interactive widget which enables me to do VTK renderings to the WX user interface. So as per usual I instantiate the super quadric I also create a polydata mapper connected all together and then I create a, a renderer that will represent the 3D scene and insert the actor in there but then I deviate from the norm by creating a WX frame which is a top level WX Python um, user interface component and I insert this WX VTK render we know into actor into that frame make sure the layout is okay and then start everything up and then at the end I add this renderer to the render window which is automatically created by the render window interactor. After I've done the first 3D rendering I start up uh, the event handling loop of this WX. I can do this because I'm going to start up uh, IPython in a special WX Python threading mode. Let's do that. Let me just switch to my command window over here. So what I'll do is I'll uh, go to program files and start up uh, the DRE with as a parameter IPython and very importantly the W thread parameter. So there's my command prompt. And now I'm going to import this Python file by well typing import VTK WX IPython. And to make it easier on myself I'm going to rename it to just V. And there is my donut again. You can see this is the WX title that I chose chose for my um, user interface. Let's make it slightly smaller. Okay, so this is a running example and while it's running I'm actually able to change the behavior. So for example, let's change the background of this renderer. That's quite simple. So I go vren.set background. Let's make it, for example, grayish. And if I click there, I'll see I've got a gray background. I also want to change the shading or the, inter the shading of this uh, of this polygonal model to flat to get a better idea of of, it, of its facets. I go back here and I go v dot a dot. This is all standard VTK. Uh, set interpolation to flat. Oops. There we go. Then I've got flat shading. Also, just to show you that the uh, um, introspection is working and that the, uh, IPython can do command line completion, I'm going to change this donut back to a ball by saying v dot super quadric. See if I tab, it completes toroidal to off, and now I have a ball again. Let's switch it back on. Nice donut, and turn it into a, a nut. So, there you have it, modeling a nut in 2500 easy steps. Okay, so this was the second screencast in the DRE series. Uh, feel free to check the documentation or ask any questions on the mailing list. Thank you very much for watching.